Hey, this is Bennett and you're watching the song of the week. This week we're doing Cluck Old Hen and we're doing two different versions of this song. So we're doing Ron Block's arrangement, which is based a lot on the Mixolydian scale. And then we're taking a look at Jim Mills' arrangement of this tune, which is very much based on the blues scale uh, and is actually titled The Old Hen. And it's got some really slick claw hammer playing at the beginning by uh, Stuart Duncan. If you want the tab for this, you can sign up for my mailing list. The link is below this video. Please subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy Cluck Old Hand. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The first thing that I want to point out about these versions of Cluck Old Hen is that in the Allison Cross and Union Station version, they're playing the form AABB with the A section as that melody in the B section. In the Jim Mills version, it sounds like the solos are BBAA. So they start the solos off with and they end it with. It's kind of interesting to, to listen to them and to compare them just in form. The melodies are completely different. You can still tell it's Cluck Old Hen, but they're using different modes. And it's really interesting to analyze those. Uh, for example, in the Ron Block version, he's using the Mixolydian mode. So it's the G major scale with a flat seventh, or in this case, an A major scale with a flat seventh. The melody is based all around that, and he's using, instead of using the minor third like Jim Mills is using, he's using the major third. Uh, 
So he's still using the minor third there, but he's sliding into that major third, which makes it sound more major, more consonant rather than uh, more bluesy. And then in the Jim Mills version, he's playing with the blues scale. So. B section especially. So that's all blues scale. The band in the Jim Mills version is almost the same band as in Allison Krauss and Union Station. Dan Tominsky on guitar, Adam Steffi on mandolin, Barry Bales on bass. It was kind of cool to learn that as well. Let's get into the Ron Block version. He starts out, well, they start the song out with this uh, pinch. And that's the main melody. He's just rolling into that first note. And then right after that, he pinches. He does like an off, offbeat pinch. So that's a little bit more bluesier than the B section. The B section, you hear the major third a lot more. And he, start, he starts out with those classic Scruggs licks. And then that F chord. It's pretty straightforward for one of these modification videos. So in the Jim Mills version, it's a little bit more technical. He does some really cool technique stuff, starting out with that first pinch. He slides up, and then he pinches and slides back. And then he does this drop thumb pattern. And then... That's a great lick. It could also work in Clinch Mountain Backstep or any bluesy song that has one of those tag licks. And then he rolls into that next that then he rolls into that next phrase. Then he rolls into that next phrase. And then he rolls into that next phrase. One, two, three. And he uses backwards rolls there. So right there. And it's important to like kind of bend that note a little bit. Moving on to the B section. So what he does there is he rolls forward roll. And he's hitting each of those melody notes and hitting a first string in between each one. And he's pulling off there. A variation on that would be. So you can pull off, instead of pulling off on this third fret, you can pull off on the second fret. It's a little bit bluesier sounding too. And then he does a slight variation on that second time around with an anticipation. So that's those two arrangements of Cluck Old Hen. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, the tab is available for free. All you have to do is sign up on my mailing list. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for a new vid.